What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to outline text in Premiere Pro with any font. It's so easy to do, so if you wanna help me out, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let's get started. This effect is as simple as creating a stroke on your font in the graphics tab. But I'm also gonna show you how to use glitch overlays to create a track mat for the outline. All right, we are now in Premiere Pro. All you have to do is click T on your keyboard to bring up the text tool and click anywhere in your program window and type anything you like. I'm just gonna type my name and then let's head on over to the graphics tab. Under the graphics tab, you want to go to the edit tab and double click on your text layer somewhere here and increase the size of it by dragging the slider right here. And you can use these align and transform buttons to vertical center and vertical horizontal to get your text in the center. Well, now how do we make this a stroke layer? Well, all you have to do is down here in the appearance, just uncheck fill and click stroke. And you have immediately created an outline. But that's not all. You can double click on your text layer and over here on the right hand side, you can change the stroke width all the way down to one. And you can go all the way up to as high as you want. Now, I wish Premiere would allow us to keyframe this. So Adobe, if you're watching, let me keyframe this because right now I can't keyframe the stroke. But with this stroke layer, you can play around with it. The great thing is if you don't like your font that you have, all you have to do is double click on your font and change it to anything you like. Like I could change it to Durga or I could change it to the bold font. You know, just, just play around. But with this, we can also use glitch overlays. So now if you have actually downloaded my glitch overlay pack, it's free. I'll link the video in the description down below, but it has a ton of assets that you can use to glitch different video effects and text. So all you have to do is find one that you like and drag that down into your timeline. Drag your text layer on top of the glitch overlay and make sure they match or whatever. Right now it looks like this. Go to the effects tab and type in track matte key. Drag that onto your glitch video, which is the bottom layer. Go to the effects controls and change the matte to video two, since our matte is going to be your text layer. Now if you play that back, you'll see that we have this glitch. And it's pretty cool because you can actually copy that track mat key and then if you want to drag in a different glitch to get a different effect, all you have to do is paste that track mat on there. Now one final tip that I wanna leave you with is you can actually stack these text layers and do different effects on the bottom text layer. So I can uncheck this stroke and check fill and if I hold control, to make two keyframe points that will change the opacity. I can simply fade away that bottom layer and that will give this kind of reveal text layer or if you like the look of this faded area, that works too. But get creative because I can just imagine that you could just chop this up and move things around and make it stutter all over the place to sound effects so that when you play this back, you'll have like a stroke and fill glitch Thing. Well, that's all I have time for for today. I tried to make this one nice and quick, and hopefully you learned something. If you did, let me know down in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new, because I'm gonna be making some more stuff in the future. Yeah.